multimedia personality, comedic commentator, songwriter, recording artist, spiritual leader, and actor. Catch Larry Reed on the BET Plus original series, Kingdom Business, and on American Gangsta Trap Queens, streaming online at BET.plus. Is when you go to the bank this time, <laughs> approval the thing the spirit of living God. My God. God says that he's singling you out because God says there's an anointing on your life. And God says, you tell O men Joseph that I'm calling him for ministry. It's Jonathan's time for a miracle. Who is Jonathan? My name's Jonathan. Jeez, my God. Stay connected to Prophet Manasseh Jordan. Text the words text MJ to 33339. That's T E X T M J to 33339. Stay connected to Larry Reed Live. Take a moment and like the Facebook page, subscribe to the YouTube page and hit the bell. Text LRL to 404-999-7527. That's the words LRL to 404-999-7527. And get notified when we go live. Become a member of Patreon. Log on to patreon.com forward slash Larry Reed Live. Sign up, then download the Patreon app and turn on your notifications. Get connected today. Patreon.com forward slash Larry Reed Live. Let me tell you why you should join. You will gain access to master level teaching and coaching, which includes Sunday morning prayer calls with Dr. Reed, Wednesday night breakdown with Dr. Reed, the prophets and care pastors, divine partnerships and networking with the like minded community, exclusive content, which includes daily posts ranging in topics that are too expensive to share on Dr. Reed's public platform, including money, health and wellness, entrepreneurship, relationships, prophecy, prayer, and more. Become a member today by logging on to patreon.com forward slash Larry Reed Live today. We're about to have a conversation. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have in the studio the son of Bishop Eddie Long, Edward Long. Now, I had a nickname for you after our last thing. So I'm it, sure. It was Eddie Wrong. Okay. <laughs> it was Eddie okay. Wrong. I hadn't heard that. <laughs> it was. It was. Okay, so, but now we're in a whole different place. And we're going to talk to you guys about that. But the first thing we want for you to do is to hit like and hit share and make sure you tag Jamal Hanson. I mean, excuse me. Make sure you tell, make sure you all the plan. Just make sure you let everybody know that we are on and we're about to have a conversation right now. Now, this is going to be a good conversation. This is what I want people to know. Mm. Well, first of all, I want to find out because I really don't know. I want to find out more who you are. I want to know what it was like being the son of Bishop Eddie Long. And I found out that you left like your whole life and went and helped your father build. Mm. So I want, I want to know about that. Then when the ministry began to break down with all the scan of stuff, how, how were you feeling? What was your experience? And then what the ministry has went through as a, afterwards, the aftermath is like his own separate saga, mm. you know? So I want to find <laughs> out about it. And there's nobody else better to talk to than the person who is the legitimate real son of Bishop a D long. So those of you that are in the chat, I see you coming in. There's a thousand seventy-five of you already watching. I need everybody on YouTube and Facebook to hit like right now and let everybody know that we're gonna have a very real conversation. Now, Edward told me he said you can ask me anything. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm I can ask him anything about what happened. Because see, I was always interested 
and what you were going through. Because I'm a preacher son, mm-hmm. and then my girls, I watch my girls go through what they go through as a, real, as a result of their dad being a pastor. Mm-hmm. So I want to know what was going on in your head, mm-hmm. and I also want to ask you some questions about how can I and parents that are preachers and pastors and leaders make better impact on our children? Mm-hmm. I. I have a whole. I don't have any perspective for that except for my experience. You, your father was high profile. Mm-hmm. I'm whole high profile. I don't know what my kids are going through, mm-hmm. so I want to find that out and get your perspective on that as Absolutely. well. This is gonna be a very interesting conversation. Let me see what y'all saying in the chat. All right. Okay. Hold on. Your nickname, Cody. Absolutely. I- in the book, we, we, we talk about all of that, everything that you were just asking about, you know, parenting. Uh, I get into my name. Only a few people can call me that. Though. Somebody in the chat just <laughs> I, said it. I didn't know it. I, I will ignore some folks if they hit me oh, and they don't know me like that. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Okay. So your family, family, so we love you, Cody. This is from some for real people that really know you. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm saying, I see Monica in there. What's going on? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. You see Long what, legacy coming out. It's all good. Right. So you see where, where the blue is. That I means it's on Facebook. Uh-huh. And the red is this, it's a comment from YouTube. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So make sure you let everybody know that we are having the conversation. If you are on Facebook, please hit like because we're shadow banned over there. Mike is off the chat. <laughs> <laughs> on YouTube, make sure you hit like as well and share with everybody. Let them know that we're about to have the Commodore station. Absolutely. Okay. So. Let's go ahead and get this out the way because people in the chat, when I posted, I'm sure mm. people hit you up. Mm. So when I post, like, oh my God, you can't have them back on. No, because of what happened last time. It's a setup. Yeah. <laughs> I got you. I got that. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It's a setup. No, something's happening. He's coming working for somebody. You know, people come up with stuff. Mm-hmm. But I do understand that y'all just, you just love Larry Live brand. They're looking out. I got yeah, it. They were looking out. I but then it. what, did they say anything to you like, okay, he's going to set you up this time to try to get you back or something? Uh, I've, I've heard all of that. Yeah. I've, I've heard that. I've heard some pro stuff. You know, it yeah. it is what it is. Mm-hmm. Um, I get a kick out of commentary <laughs> because when you know what it is, you know what it is. Yeah. You feel me? So, I want to do something. I want to do a few things. Oh, okay, go ahead. Right. On. First of all, I, I, I know you ain't really in this space, but I just came bearing a couple of gifts. Oh! This, this is a new drop you, for the summer. Let me tell you, somebody <laughs> told me some. Hold on. Do you have a, you invested, you invested I, I, in this? I, I, I got a, a special situation, oh, a very okay. unique situation there. Absolutely. Just my mama that is watching this, just because he gave me this. Don't mean I'm gonna drink. Oh, here we go. <laughs> okay, we'll add it to your collection. <laughs> I, I know you be getting more. So can somebody put this on the bar? <laughs> that, that's that's the honey melon right there, Ciroc. That's what I heard summer, about so. this this flavor and the apple. But um, mm-hmm. I heard about this. I recently just heard about this. I got a story about this flavor concerning my eldest daughter, but I ain't gonna tell it up here. <laughs> I'm good. I just found out the other day. I'm good. I didn't know nothing about it. You know. I got you. I got you. Oh, well, you preach your kids. So 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 to unpack. Mm-hmm. When I guess this is like four years ago now. When, when I was really yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. Um, I understood the frustration. Mm-hmm. You know, I understand what, what they got. You know, uh, Cardi B got the Barty gang or whatever. Yeah. You know, uh, <laughs> what's the Nicki Minaj got yeah. the, the, the bar yeah. and Barbies and all of that. You yeah. know, and Beyonce with the Beehive. Et yeah. And I, I understand. You know, Larry Reed has LRL the Reeds. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if you will. Yeah. Um, you and I didn't know each other. Not at all. That's the basis. Yeah. And one thing about me, I am a, I'm a very passionate person. Mm-hmm. So if I'm with you, I'm with you. Mm-hmm. To be honest, if I'm, if it, if it seems like I'm against you, I'm still with you because I'm kingdom. Mm-hmm. You follow you. me? Mm-hmm. What happens is that sometimes you can't get to a place of peace mm-hmm. without a little bit of confrontation. Okay, yeah. You I follow me? Mm-hmm. And you do what you do. Mm-hmm. At the time, I don't understand what you do. Right. At the time, it's simply, I don't like what you're doing. Right. And I remember when I was on Praise 102.5, mm-hmm. and I was doing a Facebook Live, and you came on. Mm-hmm. And I know that you have posted stuff about me, about mm-hmm. a few other people, some of my friends, et cetera. Mm-hmm. And within that, I'm like, well, dope. We can talk about this. Mm-hmm. And that's when I invited you. I said, come on over to Praise. Mm-hmm. And after going back and forth a couple of times, Bishop Jordan came into the conversation, mm-hmm. et cetera. It was, well, maybe you go on Larry's show instead. Mm-hmm. So within that, I go on your show. I go on wanting to really discuss one thing. Mm-hmm. You follow me? What's going on with your trajectory mm-hmm. from my vantage point 
of how you handle people's situations. Mm -hmm. That was my only interest. You mm -hmm. follow me? That's what I wanted to talk with you about on my show. Mm -hmm. So within that, what I didn't know is that the studio we were in up in the sky mm -hmm. was actually your place of residence. Right. Because I come from music, mm -hmm. you feel me? And plenty of folks got studios, little bando spots, little right. ducked off spots, whether it's in a condo, whether it's in some house over here, whatever. Mm -hmm. And it could be bedrooms set up, all these things, but it doesn't mean they reside there. That's true. You feel mm -hmm. me? So I don't know that this is your place of residence. To be honest, right. I didn't know much about you right. other than what I saw you display. Right. I didn't know you were married. I didn't know you had kids mm -hmm. that may, you know, slide through there, et cetera. Yeah. So it was not my objective right. to put you in jeopardy. Right. My objective was if something pop off up in here, mm -hmm. people need to know where we are. Right. Because every night that I'm on the radio, I come on saying whatever, whether I was on streets, whether mm -hmm. I was on praise or when I was on high. Praise on 2.5, mm -hmm. Lit Nights with Ed. You know where we are. You can Google the address. Yeah. That's how you had situations like where Pop got shot, mm -hmm. where Jam Master J got killed out the studio. So because these people can find where these places are. Yeah. You follow me? Mm -hmm. Had I known yeah. that this was your dwelling, I would have taken a different approach. Yeah. In not knowing it, I would have done the same thing. Yeah. So when you and I talk, we were at Bishop Jordan's uh, hotel room or something, mm -hmm. I think, when, you know, months ago or yeah. what have you. And I shared that with you. Yeah. And, you know, my apology to you at the time was not an apology of me feeling like I was Eddie wrong. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And doing something wrong. Mm -hmm. Because I know why I did it in the place I did it from, which I just explained. Right. My apology to you was simply because of the offense that it caused you, mm -hmm. caused you, and it caused those who hold you dearly. Right. That's it. Yeah. You follow me? Mm -hmm. Because again, being kingdom, mm -hmm. if you offend a brother, right. then you ain't going to receive nothing else from me because you hold offense. Man, that's true. And so I think that we've had enough uh, conversation and dialogue, mm -hmm. if you will, over these past few months or what have you, that we can be in this space and it's a much more genuine encounter. Right. Yeah, I get to know you. I, I get to learn learn who you are. You and, and who you are not more so than anything. <laughs> you know, and then the, the other thing is, you know, in not understanding what you do. Mm -hmm. Don't like it. Mm -hmm. That's one thing. But then also, if we can understand something, then I cannot like it, mm -hmm. but get it. Right. If that makes sense to <laughs> yeah, you. Uh -huh. One of my um professors when I was over at Beulah working on my master's, Jonathan Alvarado. He actually used to serve under my father, mm. uh, Bishop Jonathan. You, you familiar Hold on, with him? I, I know that name. Yeah, Tony, all of them. So I think yeah, she just celebrated her birthday, name. et cetera. Yeah. Um, and they're doing some great work. Mm -hmm. One thing he said to me in class one time, he said, Ed, you know, he said a keen mind is able to hold two contrasting thoughts in mind at the, the same, same time. time. Mm -hmm. Meaning I can understand what Biden is about and understand what Trump is about. Mm -hmm. You feel me? And I don't have to agree or disagree with either. I can just understand it. Mm -hmm. And so I'm able to sit here today because it's like, I get it. Yeah. Um, I remember you stated something. You said, well, look, I never, I never said nothing bad about Bishop Long. Mm -hmm. My interpretation was totally opposite of that. Mm -hmm. When I watched one of your videos, because you research, I mm -hmm. research. Yeah. I come from, mm -hmm. you know, radio and all of that. Yeah. I got to know what's going on. And so... Uh, I remember you stated like when, when my dad went on Steve Harvey's show, mm -hmm. he was messing himself up. Mm -hmm. You feel me? And then another statement said, uh, I can't listen to Eddie because it's too creepy. Mm -hmm. It's just it's just a creep show. It's a creep show. Mm -hmm. So for me, where I was at that moment, that's offensive to me. And that's negative. That. You feel I me? That. And then for my my trial, the mm -hmm. long legacy, if you will, and, and the reach of that, it's like, bro, this cat done talk crazy about your dad, whatever, whatever. So when you said that to me, it was like, Okay, I can't let you say that. Yeah, that was just the man in me come like right. I, I, I can't. But we worked through it. Yeah, yeah. and this is the thing I didn't know if you knew it or not, but a lot of people gave me a lot of flack mm -hmm. for this because I don't know if anybody else was saying what I said. Not like, many. No. Okay. Yeah. I I, I told him. Mm -hmm. I'm telling y'all again. What I told Edward was, do you know I was like one of the main people who was getting got. In 2017, mm. for the things that I was saying in favor of your father, and please be clear, I I was not. 
I'm not taking nobody's side. I'm just looking at things for what they are. Mm-hmm. And when I heard what I heard, I said, now wait. I didn't even know Bishop Edelon's ministry. I just knew his church, his name, him at Jake's stuff. I didn't know mm-hmm. his work until after he was dead, mm-hmm. coming to the city and then hearing the things he'd done in the city. I'm yeah, like, right, yeah. I said, wait a minute. This man did a whole lot of stuff in the city. I didn't even know all of that. Mm-hmm. So what I was saying had nothing to do with me liking the work he did in the city, mm-hmm. nothing to do with the work he done in the black community, none of that. It was just looking at a thing and knowing this does not add up to Larry. Mm-hmm. And so I never, never, ever, I mean, I don't care what anybody else saying. I know they're other bloggers. And I hate to even say this because this is going to give people content, you know, but <laughs> I never, ever believed it. And you can go back to the stuff when um, Buddha was here, Vincent was up here. We was on the street in um, Atlantic what's that Station. community? Atlantic Station mm-hmm. with, with my video asking people, you know, what you think? What you think? And I'm like, I don't know. Yeah, I, I didn't know y'all did all that. Yeah, yeah we did. <laughs> we did. Going it, crazy. Yeah, it may still be up. It was like a hot topic. It may still be up. But, mm. uh, if, if it ain't, I got it. But that was the conversation. I'm like, I don't believe Eddie Long is this predator in the pulpit. I couldn't wrap my mind around it. And I didn't even know him. Mm. Just looking at the picture of him like he working out, sh- showing it to somebody else. I said, shoot. I said, look. My mentor had been working out on his thing so many times, burning sweat, holding up a shirt. Look how much stomach I lost and sent to me. Mm-hmm. Somebody could take that mm-hmm. and make that look like Paint something. Because you add a narrative to something mm-hmm. and then you have like one picture. Mm-hmm. That's all it takes, especially back then. Now it takes more. Mm-hmm. But back then, that's all it took. Mm-hmm. And so to me, I'm like, that makes no sense to me. And then let me tell you what happened. And I can't say that name, but we talked about it. You know who it is. Mm-hmm. I didn't tell y'all. But when, but when we had a conversation on the platform and I got hit up, this is like in the heat of Larry Live, we still hot. Well, back then when I would just say when anything. You were smoking. I yeah, you. right. <laughs> and so, and they were like, oh my God, they just show Larry Live. You know, so I was getting hit up by people who wanted to promote them. Mm-hmm. And one of the people were one of the people that uh, had these, uh, um, I'm, I only like saying the word allegations because it sounds too professional. No, nah, but that's what they that's what they put yeah, so, but, hey. but I I don't I don't like it may sounds too judicial mm-hmm. but cuz really just a story. Mm-hmm. One of the guys that told his story on your father. And I was like, "Oh, okay. I know I remember your name. I remember you've been one of the four guys, five guys." I said, "Okay. I said, "Can I tell you off record?" And in that off record conversation, mm-hmm. I said, "Wait, wait, wait. wait. You mean to tell me that's all that happened?" Mm. There wasn't even it wasn't even an end of pro. I don't know about the rest of them, mm. but this one that was that got the check too. Mm. There was it was not even an inappropriate touch. It was a hug. Mm. And I know he may be saying this and get upset and may text me. It's back but, on the record. But, but oh well, <laughs> oh hell. And I recorded our conversation just so you know. And so, <laughs> so, so you said it. I said. There is no way I can promote now your book about it because he had he wrote a book, mm-hmm. and I know that he came to your door and hugged you at your door in a public place mm-hmm. and left. Mm-hmm. I was, well, he said, but he knew I was vulnerable because I just lost. I said, but he said it was a long hug. Oh, so a long hug mm-hmm. constitutes. Mm-hmm. I said I can't. I got. I you. can't do that. And that was in two thousand. I didn't get that evidence. Until I had a conversation with him, but I knew back then this was stupid. Mm-hmm. It, made, it looked like somebody who was a powerful black man who loved other young black men helping them, mm. and he got the okie doke, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. Now, I'm not excusing if anything did happen if you're watching, but from my standpoint, and what I've seen some of the bishops in my life go through before Larry Live, mm-hmm. some of their church mothers, I've seen. That kind of stuff. And I don't like it. Mm. I know I've talked about it so much on the other end with people who really did something. Mm-hmm. But there have been other situations where they didn't do nothing. They just took their relationship and they took it somewhere where the man themselves ain't even taking it. They not even they get obsessed with it. They get obsessive and mm-hmm. strange and make up a story. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I couldn't, I couldn't do that. Mm-hmm. I couldn't do it. So I think me and um Buddha. Was on two separate sides of that conversation. Yeah, yeah. I think From we what were. I saw. Yeah. yeah, we were on two separate sides of the conversation. But but that's that's what I thought. So I don't think that Bishop 
Long's legacy should be summated in that scandal. I appreciate I, that. I don't think so. I appreciate that. Because when you look at some of the other things that he's done, I don't know everything about Bishop Long, but when I look at the things that he's done, I said, no, that's not fair. Mm. I, I feel like that's unfair to just say, okay, throw away 20, 30 years of ministry. Mm. I'm going to tell you something else. Mm. And this may make somebody upset. I do not like. Don't put this on air, but this is Larry Lack. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> I don't even know where you're going. <laughs> I don't like the way Bishop Daddy Jakes handled your daddy after that. Oh, scandal. man. I don't. Manasseh hitting you. Manasseh hitting you. Commercial, <laughs> commercial break, Manasseh. <laughs> Manasseh. <laughs> Manasseh, Manasseh, I'm live right now. I'm with Bishop Eddie Long's son. What's I, up, I'm, man? I had to How call you, you back. I'm, I'm trying to, you think my dad would like this for Father's Day? Uh-oh, he's going in with no, the gift. No, that's how he don't care. <laughs> he there, there's thousands of people watching us, and he still want me to see. There's thousands of people watching. You think my dad would like this for Father's Day? Yes, because he like my ball man, ball man shoes. But he got he got a, he got the um the jogger. Does he have that? No, he don't have that. He like that. Manasseh, did you hear me say that I'm alive? <laughs> that man don't care. You just like your daddy. Hey, he a prophet. He knew you was doing he this. He knew and, I was alive. He still hit you. He didn't care. <laughs> he just like his daddy. They don't care. Anyway, mm. I'm returned Pete. Ah. <laughs> I feel like when that happened, everybody ran away from your father. That's true. Many did. Many did. And, um, you know, many have come back and apologize in their own ways. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll tell you what, what, the number one thing I hear, especially today in all the controversy of politics, social justice, all of these things, pastors, bishops say to me, boy, I sure wish your dad was here mm -hmm. because he was the voice that we turned to for direction during times like this. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of preaching going on. There are a lot of works going on, mm -hmm. but our community doesn't have direction. Mm -hmm. If anything, we're echoing what the world is saying and just sprinkling a little Jesus on top of it. I would have to agree with that. And so many have come to me and, and I've forgiven. You feel me? Mm -hmm. um, because that, that's, that's the only option I have. Mm -hmm. uh, I live by a phrase. My guy John is over there. He, 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 he knows it. Uh, you know, Jesus said, bless those that curse you. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, you called me to cuss and preach. I don't really cuss. <laughs> you know, I'll say hell or something here and there. But uh, well, now I'm but, this, so we're but, in the same boat. But back when I used to use profanity, mm -hmm. you feel me? Uh -huh. It might say, Negro, you know what I'm right. saying? And so my, my, my growth is F you, God bless you. Okay, got it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. And so my spirit would be saying F you. But then that kingdom kicks in, kicks in to, uh -huh. you know what? God bless you. Right. Because you got to work that out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And we're not going to get nowhere with me again being in a certain yeah. disposition. Now, yeah. now you're, you, 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 I'm looking at, he's sitting here, your father is in a chain on your chest. This was a gift. This, I, when I walked in for his, um, what is it the day before? The wake. Uh -huh. When he was lying in state. And uh, one of the members, I mean, she hit me with it so fast, I didn't really get to see her face. Mm -hmm. And she slid it. She actually gave me two of them. And so, um, yeah, I wear this, man. And uh, I gave another one to uh, Apostle Browder in Alabama because he, he just loved my dad so much. Um, and then my wife got me a, a gold one with diamonds on it during our wedding. But uh, I, I, I keep them, man. Absolutely. You know, because I, I told him at the home going, the name is going to live forever, bro. Did you have time to grieve? Bro, I'm still grieving now. Mm. So, great question. And, um, you know, there's so many things that happen. You, you have, you got lawsuits, you got all the stuff that's going on with that. Boom, 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 boom. Plus what you know, you know, we have this exodus of people from the church and you have to process that. At first you're feeling like people not being loyal. At first you, you know, you, you feel like people not staying down. You know, my mind, I, my mind work off a different code. My mind work off a street code. You follow me? Mm -hmm. I, my brothers, my partners, they, they were in the streets. I was always around them. You feel me? Mm -hmm. We just, we, we wasn't, we wasn't church guys. Mm -hmm. We just happened to be in church, if that makes sense to you. And so you, 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 you weigh loyalty. 
You follow me? Mm -hmm. You weigh people's capacity to stand. And I had to realize, man, it, it, it may not be disloyal. It may just be that maybe people didn't get the answers they were looking for. Mm -hmm. Or maybe people didn't, they didn't come for this. You know, I tell people all the time, folks don't go to church for drama. Right. And it's too much drama in church now. Now you preach. People go to church to get their drama resolved. Yeah. So if I'm going to come here and I'm getting my drama meeting your drama, <laughs> I need to go where it's drama free. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So you just go through all of these thought processes to just say, you know what? I get it. It's OK. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So and your it, mind went to the the ministry and the state of the ministry as, as opposed to like grieving as as, as your, your dad. Man, dead. you just put your game. For, you may remember, you know, when, when, when these press conferences were happening, I'm standing with my dad. I went ran off shirt saying I stand with Bishop Long. I support Bishop Long. That's my position. You follow me? One, I know different than what's being portrayed. Also, it's just like, bro, this is this is what he raised us for. Pop mm -hmm. is a general. Mm -hmm. Pop is a general in the faith. Mm -hmm. So he didn't raise us. He didn't have that kingdom, that taking authority mindset for us to tuck our tails. And so here it is a Moses. If Moses needs some help with his arms being held up, then a son got to hold arms up, bro. So you don't even have the time to go think about self. Then here's the other thing with me that I don't think anybody really considered. Those lawsuits, the way that they were painted was that this was youth. These were children. Mm -hmm. So at the time, bro, I've been the youth pastor for two years. Mm -hmm. The guys who doing this is in the young adult ministry at worst by age. Mm -hmm. You feel me? But the way it's being painted, the department or the ministry that I'm leading before these lawsuits come out, we seeing like 2,000, 2,500 kids per week, mm. bro, with tanks to like 200. Mm. So you talk about that type of drop off. Everybody's focused on the adults. I'm dealing with these youth who are like, where's everybody going? Mm. Trying to console them because it's a death to them. On top of that, we in schools, my man Adonis Jews, AJ Jews, he's the high, high school, middle school director. I'm the youth pastor. And we're in schools because these kids is calling us like they getting picked on because they members of New Birth. They getting bullied. They getting this. They getting that. And so as long as the news cycle got my dad's name in the cycle, it's getting worse for them. We go to the schools. We getting laughed at by teenagers mm -hmm. trying to minister. This is a real thing. And no one considers the outliers. You follow me? Mm -hmm. No one considers other people, the ancillary folks who are being affected as well. So that community, it wasn't just my dad, it wasn't just my family. It's a whole community of people. So you're... Well. <laughs> I know you didn't expect all that. But <laughs> I mean, you know, that's, that's, that's heavy. That's, that's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot, a lot, a lot. Okay. Good thing ain't no easy cry. I see, I, I see, that. I see through the tent. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I see where we. No, at. but that's that's a <laughs> lot. I remember calls. Can I ask you? Because I, I get it. Because I asked you, did you grieve your dad? You you mentioned that, but then you went into all of the other things that died that you that you grieved Shh, over. I got more. That's what I'm saying, and that <laughs> that's a that's a good thing. You ain't crazy. So you sound like my therapist and my counselor <laughs> and my coach. All have said it is a wonder you ain't crazy. That's why when people saying certain things about me, I don't even trip. I don't care actually, because my thing is people make commentary based off a minuscule perspective. Yes. You you have no idea what's going on, and most people can't relate. Most people never seen a certain amount of funds. Most people never had access into certain rooms. I no, about no. that, the financial laws. Come I, on. I'm thinking about the, that's a whole nother grief. Most, most people never have a certain amount of followers. I mean, and that's not belittling anybody because yeah, yeah, all of us are valuable in the kingdom. Got, uh -huh. But those type of things, that type of access, it shapes your outlook. While you can look at something and look at it introspectively and say, nah, nah, that probably ain't, this ain't that, 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 because 
you've had certain experience of your own. Mm -hmm. You've had allegations about yourself. Mm -hmm. I can look at something because somebody may have made up something about me or whatever. Yep. And you can walk that thing just a little slower right. and take your time getting what mm -hmm. the scribes of Solomon said. Mm -hmm. In all things, get an understanding. understanding. Yeah. It, it, it take a while. That is, um, oh, yeah. <laughs> all right. Let's look at the chat. Take a break. <laughs> oh, my God. See, y'all well, not here. About? I don't know if y'all can feel it online. But when he talks about this, it gets in all of the air mm. around here that fills up. And if you sensitive, you can feel it's hot in here. You can you can feel you can feel all of that. That's that's a lot. I see, but I I had some sense of that before you was on the show the first time, mm. and that was the reason why I was interested in having you on. Mm. But now I I, un, I understand it, and I, I want to say this. Um, I, I did call you Eddie wrong, but I, I feel like I shouldn't have because now, <laughs> I, so good, now I'm understanding that I sounded like another, just in that little thing I said, I sounded like somebody else who had something negative to say echo. right, to mm -hmm. about your father. And you like you have to protect mm -hmm. your your father, mm -hmm. you know, and, and the and the legacy and anybody who say anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's I, I understand that. Mm -hmm. I, I get that. Thank you. Now now the the um I know people who have lost their mind because they lost they went from making a certain amount of money to 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 hardly nothing. Mm -hmm. You had that, your father's dead, now your community disappears, mm. and where you were putting your heart to minister, now that breaks down. Mm -hmm. That's, I don't know. That is. Mind you, then I'm going through a divorce. See that? Hold on, Thomas. <laughs> I went through a divorce. I, and mine was a good one. It was still emotionally terrible. Mm. I, I, that's when I got suicidal. Mm. It was after my divorce, and she wanted to take the kids, mm. which I didn't really think it was going to be over. But we had started doing ministry the uh, mm -hmm. same year mm -hmm. we got married as teenagers. I got you. So after 20 years, you know, she was getting out of the military. We getting, you know, right at 20 years, 18 years of marriage. So I said, we, she ain't had time to find out who she is. She's been the first lady since she was a kid. It's the discovery. You know, so it. I'm like, all right, you go to I'm sure what I, what I got going on, I'll be holding down while y'all gone. Mm -hmm. And then she got married to somebody else. After that, that was it. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so it, and, then, and I was like, okay, now, I'm, now that's when I like lost my, my, my senses. I got you. So, and at the same time, I was going through financial and my community. Same, same, really the same thing. Really mm. the same thing. And that's the cycle. Yeah, but that is, uh, ugh, that's a whole lot, man. So, in the book, mm. I'm trying to go into something else because that's too much. I got, I got pulled out. I got pulled out of that because it's got me all wrapped nah, up. We, and we can keep going that. down them steps. Come on, No, because you're not about to have me crying on my own. I want to see that. No. That's, that's, no. Hey, hey, that's the news right there. Come on. No. Breaking news. Mary breaks down. <laughs> <laughs> Let me lay hands on it. <laughs> so that, wouldn't that be the news? That would be some good news. I would be talking about that myself. Come on. You know, but that is uh, that is a whole lot. Okay, how, how is his wife doing? So I share this in, in my book. We have a blended family. Okay. Uh, I think that our family truly represents what my dad was about. Mm -hmm. Diversity, kingdom, all these things. So the woman who you're talking about, that's my bonus mother. Okay. All right. I was in their wedding. I was seven years old. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I'm a product of my father's first marriage. Okay. So my mother is doing well, mm -hmm. and uh, my bonus mother is doing well. She is uh, focused on uh, caring for family. She's doing uh, church. She is. Um, she's doing what's necessary oh. to make sure that the community is uh, warm. You follow me? Mm -hmm. um, whole as far as her influence is concerned. Right. When okay, so this is what I was wondering because when um, after your father passed, somebody took over the church. I remember doing that story. I can't think of his name. Stephen Davis, Bishop Davis. Right. Mm -hmm. No, nah, okay, thank you. But I remember running that video, doing commentary on it. But was he supposed to get the church? So the way that my dad established it was that Stephen Davis 
would be his successor. Okay. Stephen Davis was, and still is, a very faithful man. Um, he came into, I don't know if you know, we had what we call the New Birth Church Association. Yes. I so know that's why, like, this is the Charlotte location. Yeah. Everything had the same logo, but it was, at, at its peak, there were about, I think, 16 locations. Mm. This is a couple in California, Denver, Didn't know Florida, that. Savannah, a couple in Atlanta, uh, Richmond, Virginia. Didn't know that. Uh, you know, North uh, Knoxville, Tennessee, mm. and so on and so on, Augusta. And so Stephen Davis already pastored a church in Birmingham. Okay. And during the worst time for new birth in 2012, mm -hmm. he came to my dad and submitted his ministry mm -hmm. to him. And so changed it from the refiner's house mm -hmm. to new birth Birmingham. Wow. And uh, that, that, that was just major, you know, and we had an ongoing yeah. relationship prior to then. And I, I believe two things. Uh, and, and Bishop Davis and I, we, we are, you know, super close. I just preached at his church. Uh, I've preached there multiple times the last couple of years. Mm -hmm. uh, we went through a season of discord. Right. If you will. Mm -hmm. um, but the Lord worked it out. Uh, he apologized to me. Mm -hmm. uh, I received him. If you will, I knew it was genuine. And we just continued to ride this thing out. Uh, but it, but in that, two things we knew. Mm -hmm. One is that my dad knew that Bishop Davis just preached. You have a lot of preachers, and there's nothing wrong with it, right. but who are trying to be in the marketplace with business, mm -hmm. have a TV show, mm -hmm. do this, do that, et cetera. And maybe the ministry may suffer. Right. And my father knew that he is focused on preaching and caring for people. Yeah. And in this type of transition, you need someone that's not focused on everything else, mm -hmm. but focused on the house and the people. Mm -hmm. You follow me? Yeah. And Bishop Davis knew that his job was to prepare the next, yeah. to prepare a son. Okay. You follow me? I got and you. and he's very transparent about that. Okay. You follow I me? I got it. I so got it. so he did did he know and did you know that there will be a board that will be trying to put somebody in there other than after Davis? Uh we all were caught off guard by that, if you will. I see um, I never actually knew I knew had concrete proof of that, mm -hmm. but it just felt like well, you guys were like caught off guard and didn't know about that. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's church politics, man. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's what separates a kingdom agenda versus a church agenda. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Um, I, I think that he came in, he and uh, some of the other brothers. Mm -hmm. And we're really just focused on not just extending my father's legacy, but continuing to uh, demonstrate mm -hmm. To the body of Christ, what a kingdom transfer and a kingdom agenda looks like. If so, you will. so let me show you. I get this straight. So, Davis, yourself, and and the ministry at large, were sort of side swipe with the idea of another advisory board creating and finding somebody to put in that spot. Uh, I'm not gonna say Davis was was side swiped about it. the okay. way that transpired was uh, he just had his quarrels. Okay. Internally, yeah, I got it. and so it led to him choosing to resign. Got it. And so at that point, the seat was vacated, right? And then it goes to the powers right. that be. Okay, now you've been really nice. You've been really nice because this is where my knowledge pick up at. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm gonna try not to call no names, but what I saw happen reminds me of what happened with the Zachary Thames. Um, acquisition. Mm, rest in peace, G. Yeah. Mm. Um, it reminds me of some others that I can name, but they ain't that known, so we're just going to refer to that one. I do not... I'm, I don't like that. I don't, I don't think that's right. Mm. I, don't, I don't think it's right how that was done, mm. and, and they ain't got none of my money at New Birth, so it's just my opinion. Mm. You know, but... I just don't think it's right. However, I do understand that they wanted somebody to be there who had clout mm -hmm. because your father has so much, you know, nationally and international clout mm -hmm. as someone who could has a political, maybe humanitarian edge. And I could understand why they ultimately chose Jamal Harrison Bryant. And in the beginning, out of everybody that they had 
to do it, the names that I knew of. Mm -hmm. I remember John Gray was on it and a few other people with some choices. I said, well, he's probably the best one for Atlanta. And so I was championing Jamal Harrison Bryant, mm -hmm. but my concern was his pain because mm -hmm. it's out of control. <laughs> so then, so that was that was my concern. Mm -hmm. And I was very vocal about that. But I praised and praised until I began to feel as though something you just said, that it became more and more political and agenda driven outside of just being a good pastor. Mm -hmm. And that's I true. think that that's happening in a whole lot of <laughs> mega churches. Mm -hmm. But it's unfortunate that New Birth sort of had to go through that a whole nother scandal with that. And still now still faced with scandal because Jamal didn't say. I mean, was, let me say it like this. <laughs> well, his pain just didn't in control. You know, so that that's sort of that's sort of unfortunate. Any part of you feels like you could be the pastor. Absolutely. Uh, but here's the caveat. Only with the grace of God. Okay. You know, this is one of them things again that's been a cycle. I did not like how the process took place. Mm -hmm. I did not like it for a few reasons. It took me back to somewhat the prophets versus the Saul situation with the Hebrew people. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Mm -hmm. And within that, what's different is that the people didn't really have a say so. There was no vote by the people. Yeah. There was only vote by two people. The board of trustees and so when a poll was taken early on in the process um of, of where should we go now mm -hmm. some of the consensus was just on a poll mm -hmm. do a search some of the consensus was uh, a certain woman in the ministry no. possibly allowing her to be the pastor mm -hmm. some of the consensus was to try to work things out with davis in the aftermath right and then a large consensus was to turn my way. Yeah. Um, That's what I thought, and I didn't know you. And, and, and you've come to know, I can be very vocal. Mm -hmm. What's kind of fun is I don't, I don't really speak up about myself a lot. I will be very vocal about others, my dad, this, that, and the third, you know, whomever, like I told you, I defend people. But when it comes to me, it's kind of like, you know what? Lord, I'm gonna put this in your hands. But why is, why is that? I think that I never want to be like an Absalom. Okay. One who just hijacks something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One who has, as, as many of the preachers who even apply, you know, 163 people applied for that. I know. Now, 163 people didn't hear from God, but everybody said they Hell did. Hell no. What people were doing was in that pe package. These, these people were envisioning <laughs> what it looked like. Yeah. And these people, no matter what any of them may have said about my dad or how they felt about him, what you have to understand is by applying what they were saying was what God did through Bishop Eddie Lee Long was better than what I got. I mean, absolutely. Yeah. And so if we understand that God is a God of nepotism, in my opinion, <laughs> because he's the God of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I mean? The book of Matthew starts off with the lineage. Yeah. You feel me? So if this is a God of legacy yeah. and transfer, then yeah. the church should be echoing that versus operating like the corporate world. You feel this me? Just says Come so, on, man. So with that being said... I'm trying, I don't want to get you in trouble. I can say Well, let, let, let me say this. What I did, it, it, it let me know who, who was who around me. Okay. Right. Because I was able to observe people who applied. Yeah. And some would call the text me and say, hey, bro, I'm applying. And I'm thinking, you were my friend. So now I got to move you in the associate category. And I don't have to say nothing That's to you. That's a lot. I just got to just rearrange you in my mind. I have to adjust my expectations of you. Because now I know if it ever come down to you and me, it's going to be you. Yeah, it's going to be about Although that. Although the Jesus we preach says there's no greater love yeah. than to lay down your life, meaning your goals, your ambitions, your yeah. this, your that, for a brother. Did his enemies apply? Absolutely. And you knew. Oh, my. <sighs> 
One of my mentors told me behave. So I'm trying to just, just <laughs> okay. <laughs> listen. Okay. It's a lot. Enemies all up in there. Come on, bro. Many of the guys who come to preach since my dad's transition and this new leadership did not support my dad. That, that question is answered on his own. Who was at his home going? You wasn't at his home going. How do we support now? You put up a video the day after he tr transitioned saying now that he's gone, let's vindicate his victims. But how do you praise him and call him? Come on, man. Now, you but know, vengeance I, ain't mine. Vengeance is the Lord's. Okay. And he can do a much better job of it than I can. But let me try. <laughs> no, well, I'm going to be good. Be good. Now, he ain't going to tell you who done that video, but I'm going to tell you Jamal did that video. Let me say it one more time. I saw Marco head pick up. Marco, your head pick up. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his face. Hold on. Look at his face. Is oh he my on God. camera? He ain't got no camera over there. We moved. Marco's on there. Look, like he ready to fight. This is why I'm dirty. 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 I see, I didn't know that until. Remember, because I was a, I was an advocate, and this is not a kill Jamal Harrison Brown show. It's not, but he done blocked me now. So hell, who cares? I ain't care anyway. But I was an advocate, and that's the thing that killed me because I hate. And that's why I was hard on um, John Gray, who we are now cool. Good, but because I was upset with you, man. Right, like, right. You can't talk about my friend while I'm on your show. Like, come on. Well, you a good friend. Clearly, you you are a good friend, but. Um, we're, but he thanked me. He said it was me that God used them so to get him like, look, you need to pop out. He said well, his friends was not coming at him telling him you need to da 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 da. Mm. So that was that was a great. I thing. was though. Yeah, okay. Because I'm his brother. Okay. But we good. Yeah. And so I didn't know that Jamal had done that to somebody that sent it to me, trying to trying to say you're exactly right because I was praising Jamal so hard. You know, this is the best choice. Let's just pray, you know, the da 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 da. And when I got that video, I, I was confused. Mm. I'm like, how could you, how, how could you do that? I'm, I don't understand that. And this goes back to what I said earlier. I do not like how, and you know more than me because you, you, you're his son, how people responded surrounding and all this. What any, what, was there any people that showed up for you? This is part of the disappointment is that I have learned to not expect anything of anyone indicative of the role. There are people who will know things and will say, you know, yeah, that's not right. We'll be in total agreement and we'll give you new information, mm -hmm. but won't do anything and have relation there. So, you know, so it, anybody it, use their like use their power and their voice to speak up. And I and, and, and I'm direct. I've talked to a couple and said, look, I know you preach there. I know you do X, Y, and Z. I'm not asking you to jeopardize your honorarium. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Let's just deal with it. You feel me? You, you, you telling me that you know certain things ain't right. Mm. Then the prophets I know in the word I read Come on went with a rebuke. Come on now. Whenever they spoke to the king, the man of God, <laughs> the peasant, the this, the that. So you telling me that you know that there's a rebuke that needs to be administered, but you're going to go and say everything else that you feel like thus saith the Lord. I can't. But you know this and you don't even need revelation for it. I can't. But you won't say it. Because, you know, I don't have to judge that. Those scales are unbalanced. Do that, that make you not believe, believe in people to call themselves prophets? Um, I, don't, I don't believe in, 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 in prophets. I don't believe in soothsayers, all those type of things. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, let me qualify what I'm I saying. Because I don't give that title to anyone. Okay. That's a title that whomever comes with. Like I was sharing with my wife earlier today. If I come to her and say, I believe God is going to give you a million dollars tomorrow. Mm -hmm. It's nothing for her to do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's on me and the word that I've administered. Mm -hmm. And if it manifests and cool, that person told me something prophetic. Mm -hmm. If it doesn't, hey, that person didn't tell me something prophetic. <laughs> it don't adjust how I move. Mm -hmm. So all of the regalia and different things that may come with titles that, 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 that we use in the mm -hmm. church, I respect it because of consideration of the person. Mm -hmm. 
And I know some have fragile egos, et cetera. Right. But the truth of the matter is that if I cannot see I what you're advertising in the work that you're doing, then it don't matter anyway. I got you. You feel me? Mm-hmm. And so there are many who, who, who are preachers, who are shepherds, et cetera, by title. <laughs> but my experience with them, I don't see the fruit in the work. Okay. Oh, God, this is also heavy. <laughs> and But this means a lot. I mean, because you're not, we're not just talking to somebody who, this is Bishop Eddie Long's son. There is no famous pastor and preacher that you have not met mm. and seen and shared space with. And he's making this statement. So it's, it's, it's very, that's different. That puts a different kind of weight on it when he says and makes a measure of the character of our leaders. This is a problem. Let me ask you a question, though, because I didn't answer your question. Mm-hmm. I gave the antithesis. Okay. You asked me, has anybody checked on me? Yeah. And it is yes. Mm-hmm. And it's been the unexpected. Of course, John Gray has been riding right, right, with right. me. Um, Dr. A.R. Bernard. Has, you know, has, I, has, don't, has, I don't know him, hmm. but I've heard... Him and my dad go way back. Okay. Go way back. And he has... Uh, been kind towards me. Mm-hmm. Uh, Archbishop yeah. Bernard, mm-hmm. uh, you know, with our whole fiasco, yeah. all of us fell out, right. but then we fell back on. Right. And he's mm-hmm. he's been very, very kind to right. me. Uh, my guy, Travis Green out of South Carolina. I know Travis has stood publicly. Wow. Yeah. I mean, he stood boldly like, yo, Bishop Long is my favorite preacher. That's it. Wow. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, in my friends, That's you know, great. the Price family, um, um, the Blake family out cool. in Los Angeles, my guy, Michael Fisher, you know, uh, I mean, it, it's it, there. I, 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 I don't want nobody to be offended right. because, yeah, right. uh, you, you know, I don't want to leave no names out. Right, my right, partner right. trying to make sure. I, I, That's good. That's oh, a good partner. My, my guy, Corey, Hambrook, all of that. Huh? Say the name. They can't hear you. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> whispering and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> can, can't hear you. <laughs> I, uh, you will uh, go. <laughs> uh, but he, he's, he's absolutely Dr. Mm-hmm. Dollar. Yeah. Dr., uh, Bishop Bronner. Yeah. So there are, there are, and, and, and these, nice. these were unexpected. You follow me? Um, but the expected the ones expected were. It's, it's been different. It's, it's been interesting. Um, and you still love the church. You know what, 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 what this has caused? A faith untested ain't a faith at all. I know that's right. And so my faith is tested on a regular basis. And though things have been augmented, if you will, from a from a personality standpoint, mm-hmm. I've never believed in the Lord more. Uh, I mean, my dad is alive preaching his socks off. And I may have some questions about this or that or whatever. You know, we had this conversation. What you mean? You know, and his prayers are really availing now. Right. You know what I'm saying? Um, oh, I want to mention one other person. Yeah. You talked about Bishop Jakes. Yeah. Uh, he and I have a good relationship. Okay. Now. We have a good relationship now. Um, and, and, and work through some of what you share. Right. That's good. That's really nice. That's good. And Bishop Smith. Bishop, he gonna make sure I count everybody. And that's good. <laughs> that's good. Yeah. That's one of our board members as well. Yeah. Shout out to JD. Uh-huh. JD yeah. Boom. I still still what I said. I don't care y'all okay. Hey, listen, your story is your story. Mine is mine. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just saying. It was I just feel like I watched and then I went back and had to research because, like I said, all of my viewpoints don't come from, you know, sometimes people can be a little biased because they know somebody or they like them. Mm-hmm. I didn't know your father like that because I, I just didn't. And But then when I when this case happened, I looked into him. Mm-hmm. And I said, oh, okay, he been, he been, he been. And I said, oh, I remember him preaching on Jake's stage was a conference or something. Mm-hmm. And I said, okay. And so I said, well, wait a minute. Where are all these people at? <laughs> you know, mm-hmm. and so that was a concern. And then you and the other, you got siblings too, right? Absolutely. And yeah. I, that was the that was the concern. Now let me ask you, are you going, let's see how much talking they're going to do back there. We're going to doing the whole show. <laughs> Chatty, wetty. And so anyway, this is it up. I mean, whole conversation. Is you single? He's single. He's single. Uh-huh. No, no, he's spoken for. Oh, oh that's your weapon there. Okay. You better go back there and look something. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. Is somebody working the move? 
<laughs> so I never, so she not, don't know what so I'm saying. She caught up in the thing. She don't know what, I, I what I'm saying. <laughs> look how she looks. Like, What's happening? <laughs> okay. All right. Anyway, so I, you can answer this if you want to. You don't have to. Are you going to start a church? No, unless the Lord tells me to do so. Okay. Um, so let me let me let me let me not even say nothing. If the Lord leads me okay, that way. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Um, that was a strong no. Well, well I because I've toured with that for a while. Okay. And I had to just get to a place of really being settled in it. Do I see myself pastoring? Absolutely. Because I'm already doing it. Yeah, really. You, you yeah. feel me? Yeah. Um, launching a church, that's a different thing. I, I'll tell you where we are right now. Right now, what was heavy, and it's been burning in my heart for the past couple of years, mm -hmm. is just structuring uh, what we're calling the long center. Mm -hmm. You follow me? Where there's so many leaders, there's so many uh, people who seed was planted in by my father. And they've grown, as Paul said, by now you should be teachers. Mm -hmm. Well, they were sheep, they were babes at one point, but they've been processed and grown. And so... Uh, they won't go there because they're not, yeah, it's, it's, it's not it's, the same. That, you know, what they almost have taken the spirit of your father out of the church. Mm. Mm. I, I hear, I hear that so often. Mm. Um, so, so How, it, can I say this? I'm, and I ain't trying to praise him over to no, but it's the truth is what it is. I think it's very, 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 very good that he is attempting in his own way to continue the legacy of his father. And when I'm thinking, I'm like, Lord, please do so much, Aaron, to where they do this. I mean, to where like, if I die, mm. that they will be doing something to try to keep my name and what I built and gave my whole life for mm. and keep it alive. Mm. And that is the, if, if you think negative about Bishop Long, the proof that you shouldn't, mm. it's sitting right here. Mm. A black man able to impact his son in such a way mm. to where he carry on the the language, the terminology, the spirit, and the work and the mindset of his father. Mm. Wow. I mean that that is amazing to me. Wow. Thank I mean, you. I mean, because there are a lot of a lot of people who probably think they better than your daddy, but they ain't done this. Mm. <laughs> wow. They ain't done this. I mean, so that that is amazing. I'm hoping that. I don't know. We just had a meeting with our children. Me and my baby mama, she just left. <laughs> and we don't know what the hell is going on with our children. I'm like, Lord, get in their brain and give them one, because that ain't it. Stop, but, man. I'm trying to be serious uh, over here, man. <laughs> well, like, <laughs> yeah, you know, I love them, but Jesus, lamb. So, this is amazing. I mean, y'all have put some hand claps in the chat, because this is just so nice. I mean that a black father has had such a lived such a life to where it's impacted another black man, mm. his son, to where he wants to carry on what his father is doing. Mm. Lord, I just Lord, I just I need I hope that kind of father because I just this is this terribly amazing to me. Wow. Yeah. Wow. wow. So you said no still? I done said all that. Uh <laughs> So this is what I, I come visit. Since, since you since you threw uh, that, that, no, that was very. Uh, I, I appreciate that. Uh, you know, it, since since you you know had that moment of just just genuine dialogue. That's true. Uh, if anybody is 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 streaming this now, not if I'm seeing at least twenty six hundred people. Mm -hmm. All right, so we got a uh, an arena filled with people mm -hmm. right here in this in this in this Facebook stream, right. YouTube stream right mm -hmm. now. If you would text text okay. long L O N G. Mm -hmm. To the number four zero four, uh, which camera am I? I want to make put, sure. Right, put in, look in this. Four put in the chat, man. At the bottom, long to four zero four nine 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 five seven eight seven. Test the word long to four zero four nine 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 five seven eight seven, and you will get an auto response with a link. Click on that link to sign up. And our team will be able to send you out information weekly on what we are doing, how we are mobilizing, when and where we are gathering, all of these type of things. Keep so, that up. I want you to keep keep that up. I want everybody to do this. Listen, if you're in the Atlanta area, I mean, you ought to have something. I don't know if they've done this. 
to just honor um, your father's legacy, but at the same time, looking forward, you know, into some things. Just text this number, anything that he does concerning his father and to push the real new birth, not the new fake one. But the, I mean, excuse me, did I say that? I shouldn't have said that like that. I'm so sorry, so sorry, so sorry. This is not on him. This is on me. <laughs> so, so anything that he do to push the, excuse me, I almost said it again. What the hell? I can't get it right for nothing. Anything that he does to promote the vision of his father as he's carrying it on, you'll be notified so you know straight from Bishop Seed what is happening. Text the word LONG to 404-999-5787. That's 404-999-5787. And y'all go ahead and do that right now. And while you're doing that, <clears throat> y'all know how we do over here. This is the only YouTube platform that you can watch and donate and deduct it off your taxes because the MBN Network, which is the ministry, sponsors the Larry Reed Live Show. What's the day? It's the 17th day. One plus seven is the eight. $17.88. That's what we're going to do right now. Send it and put in your memo section. If you're doing it on Cash App, put in the memo. LRL, put your phone number and LRL because you know we got five prophets that's going to call you. <clears throat> now, when they call you, they say, thank you for donating to the MBN network. They're going to say your name. If they don't say that, that ain't us. <clears throat> that's somebody else lying. So make sure you put your phone number in the memo and LRL, $17.88 if you're watching tonight. Cash app MBN Network. That's what I want you guys to do right now. As you are texting the word long to 404 5787. We're gonna put down that, that down there at the bottom so you guys can continue to do that. And there's a book that he has written. We're about to wrap it up, but there's a book that he's written, Son of, it's a bishop, but it really should be the bishop. <laughs> the son, son of a bishop. Now, where can they get this? It's everywhere. Um, you know, Amazon, so you can order it. You can get it shipped right to your house. That's the paperback copy. Boom. Uh, also have the ebook copy, and we have uh, just released about two months ago, oh, wow. the audio book. That's great. And it's, it's, it's in your it's, voice it's, or somebody it's, it's, else. It's, it's, uh, man. <laughs> so uh, my editor is here. She's with us. Uh, mm -hmm. Shout out to CC. Mm -hmm. uh, she's in the building right now. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I, I also had someone to transcribe mm -hmm. certain parts with me. Shout out to Deborah Parham. Mm -hmm. That process was like, man, two years. Yeah. This is my healer. Yeah. Hear me. This, if you're thinking about writing something, the book or whatever the case may be, stop waiting. You yeah. may think it's for an audience. Yeah. It is for you. It's always for you. <laughs> it's That's for the you. Truth. Hear me. And so that was two years. Boom, push that thing. And then um, audio book, man, it took my team, Teddy P, uh, Pierre Midor, DJ X Ray, and can't forget my man, uh, Young Will. You know, uh, it took us about three months mm -hmm. to produce the audio book. You got to sit down and reread yeah. all your stuff. Yeah, and make you did it make you process. Oh stuff. man, yeah. My baby mama just done a book, and she she said that done that for it was her healing mm -hmm. about her life. You going through it, and you you know, and, and all of that, and so uh, it just it just keeps taking you. You get insight about yourself when you can look at yourself from outside yourself. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You oh, okay? That's that might have been what they were talking about. <laughs> oh, oh wow, I got it. Oh yeah, that was dope. You know, mm -hmm. it, it's it's really a journey. So. Yeah. I advise everybody to go through it. Yeah, man. That's... I left somebody out since we're talking about it. Okay. Bishop Morton. Oh, Paul, Bishop, Paul yeah, is. Bishop Morton, uh, he, he he gave commentary um, in and throughout the book. And so uh, he's been- He seemed um, to be somebody that, that, will, that will stick up with you. Yeah. yeah. You know, he and my dad have fallen out for a season. Yeah, I know. And um, he understands or demonstrated how to get back in covenant mm -hmm. one to another. I, I appreciate him, the whole Morton family. Uh, shout out to PJ yeah. and all of that as well. Yeah, man, this 
Ah. Uh, I feel you 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 wanting to go deeper. <laughs> yeah, but that but a little bit that's that's a lot. I mean, I guess because I have some personal experience that mm-hmm. sort of resonates with what you're going through. Mm-hmm. That people don't understand. To be here mm. and you talking to me and you not you got every reason to not care nothing about nobody. Mm. I mean, and you just man, this is amazing. It's really amazing to that's it's just amazing to me. Praise God. All them layers of loss and, and betrayal. That's a lot. Mm. And you took that and um you it's still, still going. Yeah, I'm <laughs> still sure. I mean, but you've been really nice about it. Hey man, listen. But that's good though. Vengeance is mine, says the Lord. You know, I, I, and, and I I'm I'm gonna close with three things. Okay. I, I share some words. Uh gentlemen, shout out to the Canty family. Okay. Uh, those New Berthians who are on here, y'all will remember uh, Pastor Donald Canty. And uh, at his home going about two weeks ago, someone gave remarks or something he said. He said, listen, for those of you all who are trying to get revenge on somebody, understand something. God may not always pay on Friday, mm-hmm. but God always pays. Mm-hmm. That's it. Mm-hmm. So the check is in the mail. Mail. <laughs> We ain't got to worry about it. Mm. All we got to do is make sure that we are being prepared, we're being loving, we're being everything that we would want on the flip side. And it's all good. Man, there's so many people fighting my battles for me now, bro. Mm. Look at this, man. Me and you are sitting here. Because I ain't going to lie to you. Uh You know, I'm going to just say it straight, bro. Ah! I brought my boxing gloves just just in case we was going to fight. I didn't know, you know, I ain't know. What, what what was going on? Uh, so I, I, I I know you got your security, all of that. You know what I'm saying? But but you know, hey man, growing up, Rocky, Rocky was my fan. I just watched Creed, man. I said, look, just just in case, you know, we got this. <laughs> I, I came, uh-uh. but now look at this. You feel me? On the flip side of things, even Larry Reed is helping fight my battles for me. Yeah, man. But, see, but you know, but, but this thing though, when. I first spoke. I wanted to mm-hmm. have this this conversation, you know, but it's still timing. Yeah, maybe neither one of us was <laughs> was ready to have that conversation, mm-hmm. you know. But this is amazing to me, mm-hmm. and I look count me in if you're doing something with Bishop Edelon, you test me, let me know, you know. If I can't come, I can send a seed. Praise God, you know. And but that's um, man, praise this God. This is a lot. So it's gonna make me be. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to make myself go to sleep. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be processing because I get caught up in. You have your story, mm-hmm. which I know you're only giving us this much. Then you have your bonus mom story. Mm-hmm. Then your mom, my mom, my siblings. Yeah, because she siblings. she had a loss. Come on. Then ain't gonna ask nothing about what she thought. Even from a distance, it's still. Come on, man. Listen. Nobody has asked this question. Mm-hmm. It's almost like it doesn't matter. He's going on to the next. Mm. Ain't that mm. sad? It is very sad. So I told you, I said three things I wanted to okay. share. This is the last thing. Mm-hmm. We're better together. Hear me. It's been so many people that's talked. You you said it a couple of times. Uh, now there's two new births. Mm. And all of these type of things. And if if y'all don't know by now, I am about reconciliation. I am about what happened, happened. Mm. But how can we progress past that? Mm. So I'm going to say it again. We are better together. And if two cannot walk in agreement, then how are we professing the kingdom, bro? So I'm going to leave that at that. <clears throat> My telephone number is the same. Wow. When, well, since you said that, I want to ask you this. Could you work with Jamal? I just answered you. Oh, that's great. That's I great. have called, I have texted, I have emailed. I yeah, but it seems like he will reach out to you to try to, to be, have the spirit of Eddie in. Every day, we got new mercies. Tomorrow's Father's Day. Seven. I'm sorry, six years, going on seven since my father's transition. That's yesterday. Come on, bro. So it's a new day, new mercies. We're better together. That's the kingdom mandate. Do what to you want honor him, 
they should be calling you just to honor. Man, that's that's really unfortunate. I, 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 I'm going to stick with the energy of what he said. We're better together. But the hell, I mean, this is weird. <laughs> I mean, how, how you take over a man's church you don't like and drag online, get in his son's spot. Then disconnect from the son, have nothing to do with the son. Then bring all the, the daddy enemies in to give him honor and to preach. Hmm. Yeah. You're a good one. Because most people walk in that church hmm. on a Sunday morning. <laughs> <laughs> preach now! Preach now! Man. So that's what I'm saying. You, God has worked on you. Hmm. I mean, for you to, to not take that to you from the street, too. Hmm. Bruh. Him, I'm up. Many times, Michael, done seen him at Perimeter Mall. <laughs> and stop and say, hey, Jamal. I said, don't you get too close because the breath stink. He said, you right because that breath was killing. I said, I told you not to get too close to my breath stink. And so, what y'all going to do with this guy, uh, man? Well, so, <laughs> <laughs> that's what the head said told me, but then he found out firsthand. Mm, nose has burnt. <laughs> but, you know, I mean, in all honesty, though, it would be good if Jamal would work with you. And it's not that you need him. Mm. He needs you. I mean, the church needs you. Man. I don't even know. You don't ever cry? You look so strong. I have not shed no tears about none of this stuff, man. Because it's, 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 it's... No, bro. No, bro. Okay, well, you ain't no... You I, 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 I will shed tears about my father. Okay. okay. You asked me okay, about right. mourning yeah. my dad. Yeah. The church, X, Y, and Z? Bro, so... so <laughs> So you cried about your father. When you seen it at its greatest, what we seeing now, it ain't three services for. Oh no, it ain't. It ain't. It's never. It's it's Eddie Long's church. <laughs> no, we're yeah. not. We're not gonna share no tears over that, bro. Okay. I miss but, but, my but, father. But, but, That's it. Okay. I love that place. So what are you gonna do? How how is Father's Day for you? Man, I got a one-year-old son. We just celebrated his birthday last weekend. We getting on the flight. We <laughs> going to the beach. I'm going to be dad. What I was doing before I came in. We, my yeah. wife and I, we took our son to the lake. Today, he went to the lake and put his feet in the lake for the first time in life. Yeah. Was the lake living there? No, nah, nah, I ain't going to tell you which one. Out of them. <laughs> no, <laughs> I, can't, I can't go back there neither. Once we found out, we right. just, <laughs> I ain't trying to get pulled in there by the uh -uh. ancestors. <laughs> That's all right. Uh -uh. So, I'm gonna be a dad, but you—I know you're gonna think about your father. Absolutely, I think about my daddy every single day. That's not a day that goes by mm -hmm. that he ain't talking to me, speaking to yeah. me through someone, through some video, through yeah. some note I stumbled upon, through some picture I come across. It, no, bro. And here's the thing: I don't want it to stop. Yeah. The greatest joy I have, man. One of the greatest joys I have is being out airport, downtown, wherever. And someone who I don't know comes up to me, bawling, crying on me. Mm. Like it's day one of, like they just found out he transitioned yeah. because that's the experience for them. They didn't get to touch him. They didn't get to say goodbye. They didn't get mm. to whatever. I've been in other countries, bro. Mm. And people, Edward, Ed, 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 Ju Junior, did, did you? <laughs> and just, man, your father, he, my, my church was in, and he sent us $5,000. Man, this book right here, bro, it could be an anthology. Yeah. You don't want that to quit. Mm -hmm. So some people are chasing a ghost. Mm -hmm. I'm just celebrating memories while making new ones. Yeah. Oh, this is a great energy. Praise God. Wow. <laughs> This is better than expected. I mean, I knew it was gonna be good, but this is this has got really real. Y'all, y'all, I'm sure y'all sensitive people can feel the energy, but we here in the studio, and when he's talking about his father, it just it just like invoke invokes him and, and a lot of gratitude. Yeah. yeah. Man, the comments off the chain. I see it's people that hating on me, it's people that uh, celebrate. Oh, yeah. be, hey, it is what it is. I love man. I, I, I this is com comedy to yeah, me. Yeah, let, let Larry <laughs> Live Audience is a mongrel. Some of them, the LRLs, uh, they ain't ugly. That's mm -hmm. people come over here, call, they find out you're going to be here just to come in here and say something crazy. Mm -hmm. And they ain't going to come back no more. Hey, listen, it's all love. <laughs> Everybody have a wonderful Father's Day. Mm -hmm. uh, if you don't know your father, if you haven't met your father, if the relationship is not good, listen, please 
Don't let that dampen the image of our heavenly father. God loves all of us. And something my dad used to say, some of us should be thankful that our fathers weren't present because they may have just been jacked up <laughs> yeah. and may have jacked us up even worse. Yeah. As much as I don't like it that my dad is not here, mm-hmm. it's crazy that I would say this, but the experience that I've had, how it's grown me and what I've learned, I'm not sure that I would change it. I got you. I understand that. I understand so that. Happy Father's Day, everybody. Much love. Mm. All right, make sure tomorrow y'all tell your daddy that you love him. Make sure you tell them. Hold on. All right. Oh, Lord, they, oh yeah. Somebody said, that's somebody that I know said the comments ain't the same as in the studio. Well, that's fine. But y'all know them is not LRLs. <laughs> There's just people come over here and watch them that say they're LRLs. They're not LRLs. They're not LRLs. They're not. I don't know how in the world you can watch, listen to him speak and not feel what he is saying. I'm looking him dead in the eye. This man ain't lying. Yeah. This is for real. <laughs> this is dead for real, for real. All right. We will see you later. Make sure you turn your notifications on because you just don't know if we, if what's going to be happening on the Larry Live Show. There's so many different things that is going on. If you follow the story from the last show I done that I didn't want to do, I have began to put all of the receipts over there in Patreon. And for the members who don't know what happened, like you said, it's it's bad that the church now, some everything that's come, people coming to church and getting all the drama mm-hmm. and all the stuff that's happening. Yeah. <laughs> um, so y'all go over there and read read over that. The members, y'all go over there and see the, all the lies they were telling y'all. So shame. It's so sorry. It's so sorry. So sorry. All right. See you later. And goodbye. We all multimedia personality, comedic commentator, songwriter, recording artist, spiritual leader, and actor. Catch Larry Reed on the BET Plus original series, Kingdom Business, and on American Gangster Trap Queens, streaming online at BET.plus. Patreon.com forward slash Larry Reed Live. Let me tell you why you should join. You will gain access to master level teaching and coaching, which includes Sunday morning prayer calls with Dr. Reed, Wednesday night breakdown with Dr. Reed, the prophets and care pastors, Divine partnerships and networking with a like-minded community. Exclusive content, which includes daily posts, ranging in topics that are too expansive to share on Dr. Reed's public platform, including money, health and wellness, entrepreneurship, relationships, prophecy, prayer, and more. Become a member today by logging on to patreon.com forward slash Larry Reed Live today.